How does work in biomimetics provide evidence for a creator? One of the most exciting areas in engineering and technology today is called biomimetics and bioinspiration. And as the name implies, people working in this area are trying to develop new technologies to solve engineering problems by gaining inspiration from the design of biochemical and biological systems. And this allows us to make an argument for God's existence. Why? Because uh, the, this work in biomimetics and bioinspiration highlights the elegance and the sophistication and the ingenuity of biochemical and biological systems. And so we can make an argument for God's existence that I've called the converse watchmaker argument. And it goes like this, that if God indeed is responsible for the origin and the design of living systems, these systems should be so elegant and sophisticated in their designs that they should be able to inspire new technology. Even though work in biomimetics and bioinspiration fit comfortably within a creation model perspective, this work fits awkwardly in an evolutionary framework. Well, why would I say that? Because evolutionary biologists argue that the evolutionary process is unguided, it's, it's undirected, that it's historically contingent where evolutionary processes are constrained by evolutionary history, where pre-existing designs are co-opted and modified to create new designs. And evolutionary biologists argue that this process produces designs that are suboptimal, that are flawed, that are inherently imperfect. They're just good enough for survivability. Well, if this is the case, then we could develop an argument again for God's role and God's existence uh, by uh, framing the argument this way, that if evolution produced the designs in living systems, that they would be so flawed, so suboptimal, so imperfect, that they would never be able to inspire new technologies. Yet, we see that living systems are capable of inspiring new technologies. Therefore, it is unlikely that evolutionary processes produce uh, the designs that we see in living systems. If you want to know more about how work in biomimetics and bioinspiration provide evidence for a creator, I would invite you to check out a chapter that I wrote in a book called Building Bridges. That chapter is entitled DNA's Inspirational Design.